Hey guys, welcome back to Rack of Lamb. So today's recipe video holds a very, very special place in my heart because it's for a dish that I grew up on, Fujiao Longevity Noodles. And for those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for quite some time, first of all, thank you. But you guys probably thought that I am from Hong Kong, given I speak Guangdonghua and the recipes that I've shared. But I'll tell you this right now and right here. I'm actually Fujianese. My parents are from Fuzhou, the capital city of the Fujian province in China. They settled down in Hong Kong way before I was born, picked up the Cantonese dialect, and started speaking it to their children. Hence the reason why I speak Cantonese and very, very limited Hujiwa or Fujianese. But I do know how to say Fuzhou longevity noodles. It's so mian or so mean in Cantonese. So my parents occasionally made us so mian for lunch or dinner, but they always remember to serve us a bowl with hard boiled eggs and all on our birthdays because longevity noodles have a symbolic meaning in our culture. Long noodles equals long life. So please stay tuned if you want to learn how I make this nostalgic noodle soup with a pressure cooker. Leave me a comment below if you tried out my recipe and I hope you enjoy this little piece of my culture. Begin by soaking some dried shiitake mushrooms in warm water. You'll also need a 3 pound whole chicken, which I have chosen to de-skin, but you may leave the skin on if you wish. As with most Chinese soups, we're going to parboil the chicken by placing it in a large pot with enough cold water to cover the chicken. Now we're going to place the pot over high heat until the water comes to a full boil. While that's going, I'm going to cut 5 slices of ginger. I'm also going to remove the stems from 8 rehydrated shiitake mushrooms as well as cut them in half or in threes depending on the size. Oh and don't discard the mushroom soaking liquid as I will be using that for the soup. By the time you're done with prepping the ginger and mushrooms, you should see foam floating atop the boiling water. Get rid of the gunk, then give your whole chicken a thorough rinse with cool water. This may come as a shock to you, but you're pretty much done with preparation. In addition to the ginger, mushrooms, mushroom soaking liquid, and chicken, you're also going to need water, dried razor clams, salt, Fukin cooking wine and some Fuzhou longevity noodles. For today's dish, I'll be using this electric multi cooker by Cuckoo, a trusted Korean brand who was nice enough to send me this to try. This 8 in 1 multi cooker features 20 preset cooking options to make cooking simpler. A few of which that I use very often include pressure cook, slow cook, porridge, saute, boil, steam cook, and warm. Its 6 quart capacity is perfect for whipping up delicious meals for a mid-sized family like my own. It's also made with quality material and stainless steel with a user-friendly control system and LED display. Customize your dishes while saving up to 70% on cooking time and energy. With that said, let's get started with cooking by selecting the saute function with the style. When it is heated, pour 1 tablespoon of oil into the stainless steel pot. Add your sliced ginger and stir for about 30 seconds. Then add your shiitake mushrooms. Give everything a brief stir, push them aside, then bring in your parboiled whole chicken. To the pot, we're adding 3-4 to four tablespoons of fukin cooking wine. I love the addition of this wine and do prefer more, but please adjust according to your taste. We're also adding 4 cups of water, 1 cup of mushroom soaking liquid, 6 to 8 dried razor clams, and 1 teaspoon of salt or to taste. Finally, we're going to close the lid.
cancel the saute function and we're gonna pressure cook for 30 minutes. Yep, it's really that easy. Now we're gonna let this cuckoo multi cooker do the rest of the work. When pressure cooking, please ensure that the valve is in sealing position. While the soup is cooking, I hard boiled some eggs, which are critical in Fu Zhao longevity noodles. Here's one for Steve, one for my daughter, and one for myself. When the soup was done, I allowed the pressure to naturally release completely, even stepping out for a couple hours to run some errands. When I returned, the pressure was fully released and automatically kept warm by my Cuckoo Multi Cooker. All I had to do was prepare the longevity noodles. One bundle typically makes one serving, so I'm making two, one for Steve and one for myself. My daughter, on the other hand, prefers a different kind of noodle, which I cook separately. These noodles make me feel so nostalgic, as my parents made them for us growing up. Since I moved out and started a family of my own, I haven't been having Fujiao longevity noodles as often as I used to. The way my parents used to make it involves cutting the whole chicken into pieces before parboiling them. With the ease of this multi-cooker and lack of time in my schedule, I like to leave the chicken as is. The soup still comes out clear and delicious as I remember it. Make sure you give it a taste and adjust by adding more salt or cooking wine. So here's my daughter's noodle soup with her preferred type of noodle, which is thicker than the one previously shown. And now to serve an authentic bowl of Fujiao longevity noodles, we're gonna add a serving of the cooked noodles, some razor clams, chicken, my favorite shiitake mushrooms, some more razor clams because I'm the only one in the household who eats them, a bowl full of the aromatic soup made in our cuckoo multi cooker, and the hard boiled egg, which my parents have never omitted from our bowls. Last but not least, something I've always done, even as a kid, add more fukin cooking wine. It's a nice added touch to the noodle soup. And there it is, a simple yet tasty noodle soup that I grew up eating. My parents made this for us every birthday, but also as a casual lunch or dinner. This is my type of comfort food. And I'm so glad that I'll be passing this down to my daughter. I hope you guys will try out my recipe as well and get a little taste of my culture. And if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.